commonly used oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Eh? There are four important oxidizing agent and four important reducing agents eh? okay, that you need to know in our syllabus. So these are the four oxidizing agents and the four reducing agents eh? that uh, we always use. Uh, we always use in uh, different reactions. Um, you need to memorize this. Okay, you, uh, you need to know at least uh, you need to know uh, they are oxidizing agents and reducing agents. For example, if you see uh, potassium manganate straight away, you should know that uh, it's uh, oxidizing agents. And if you see potassium dichromate, then you should know it's oxidizing agents or uh, hydrogen peroxide or uh, nitric acid. You must know that they are oxidizing agents. Uh, even Okay, before you see the equations of the reactions or what, uh, straight away you should know that potassium magnet is oxidizing agent. Just now, uh, we see the equation first, right? We see the equations and then we find the oxidation number, change of oxidation number. Uh, then only we know which one is oxidizing and reducing agent, right? But for this, uh, okay, you need to memorize. You need to memorize that uh, uh, there are, these are the oxidizing agents. And uh, these are the reducing agent without referring to the chemical, uh, the equations of the reactions. Straight away, tell. You, when you see potassium dichromate, straight away, you should know that it's oxidizing agents. When you see sulfur dioxide, straight away, you should know that it's, uh, it's reducing agents. Even you don't know what's, what's the uh, chemical reactions that it undergoes, huh? but you, you need to know that they are uh, reducing agent. So you need to memorize that. Uh, other than uh, you need to memorize this uh, oxidizing agents and reducing agents, uh, you need to know how to write and uh, balance this half equations. This, okay, all the equations that shown here is the half equations. Uh. Now, how do we tell it's a half equations? When you see electron in the equation, then it's a half equations. There's electrons in the equations, uh, then it's a half equation. So all, all of these are the half equations, uh, half equations for this oxidizing agents and reducing agents. Okay. You need to know um, how to write this uh, uh, half equations, okay? And how to balance it as well. Uh, how to balance it as well. But for this these four oxidizing agents and four reducing agents, uh, uh, usually in exam they won't ask you to write the half equations for this four, okay? For others, yes. Uh, for like, uh, like for example, this one, okay? Uh, they may ask you to write the half equations. This one also, they may ask you to write the half equations. Uh. But for the reactions that involve this, potassium magnate, potassium dichromate, usually they won't ask you to write the half equation and the ionic equation. Usually, why? Because it's a... Uh, consider too hard for SBM students. Now, I can't guarantee that they won't ask, okay, but uh, for the last 10 years, SBM, okay, maybe more than 10 years, uh, last 15 years, uh, they never ask this. They never ask you to write the half equations for this uh, oxidizing agents and uh, this four reducing agent. So it means that you just memorize, memorize, uh, try to remember that these are the oxidizing agents and these are the reducing agents. And I try to learn how to balance the equations. Okay, I'll teach you how to balance the equation later. So this, these are the oxidizing agents and reducing agents that you need to know. Okay, so if you can remember uh, the half equations, that's very good. Okay, try to remember. But if you really can't, uh, then you can skip. Okay, because usually uh, this will not be asked in uh, SPM exam. Your school tests or school exams, uh, I don't know. Okay, oxidizing or reducing agent and the half equation. Huh? So commonly use oxidizing and reducing agent and their half equations. Okay, the first one, uh, potassium magnet. Huh? Actually, this, this one should be potassium per magnet. Huh? Per magnet. Per magnet. Because the charge is negative one. Huh? Potassium magnet, the charge is negative two. So this is potassium per magnet. To balance the half uh, half equations. Uh, the first thing is we need to balance the uh, to balance the element. For example, so we can see there's uh, one manganese here, one manganese. Okay, the manganese is balanced already. And then we have four oxygens, uh, four oxygens here, but here there's only one oxygen, uh, one oxygen. So therefore, uh, we need to have four water uh, to have four oxygens. Uh. Uh, now the oxygen balanced already. And now we have eight hydrogens, uh, four times two, eight hydrogens. So therefore we need to have eight hydrogen ions. Okay, so now the element is balanced already. 
but for half equations not only we need to balance the element we also need to balance the charge the charge on the left hand side should be equal to the charge on the uh, right hand side okay so let's check the charge for magnet the charge is positive one right positive one so the charge is positive sorry negative one negative one and then hydrogen we have eight hydrogen so the charge is positive eight okay now electrons uh, let's ignore it first okay okay manganese positive two okay and this one this water no charge eh? is neutral okay because not shown uh, it's not showing any charge here okay so it's zero okay so from here we can see that uh, the charge on the right hand side is positive two uh, some of the charge is positive two and some of the charge on the uh, left hand side excluding electrons uh, the charge is positive seven positive seven eh? so positive seven positive two so the charge is not balanced and to balance the charge we need to add electron okay each electron the charge is negative one eh? each electron the charge is negative one so if we add, add electrons eh, we will reduce the charge from positive to negative eh? okay so that's why here positive seven here positive two or the electron need to add to the left hand side you need to know what uh, electron need to add to the left hand side or right hand side uh, because in the exam they won't tell you electron is here you, you need to know where to put your electron eh? okay we put the electrons uh, on the side which have higher oxidation number positive seven positive two okay this one higher okay and uh, then we add electrons eh? we add electrons to reduce the oxidation number uh can any of you tell me how many electrons that we need to add five yes we add five electrons eh? five electrons so, so five times negative one that will become negative five right okay then the sum of the charge will be positive two okay both sides balance already okay now so the charge balance already now this is a balance half equations so that is how we balance the half equations now of course uh, if you want to memorize uh, you need to memorize what's the products uh? So per, per magnet plus uh, uh, hydrogen, uh, okay? The product is manganese and water. Okay, so that's how we balance the equations, uh, balance the elements and balance the charge. Now the next thing that you need to know is the observations, observations involved uh, in these reactions. Uh, can any of you tell me what's the colors of potassium per magnet? Purple, yes. Okay, so this is purple in color, purple. And uh, what's the colors of manganese? Mn2 positive. What's the colors of this manganese 2 ion? Colorless, that's correct. Colorless. Uh, actually, we, we have one of these in a carbon compound, right? So, so then the color change from purple to colorless. Eh? Purple to colorless. Okay, so for the observations, you write uh, the purple colors of the solutions become colorless. Eh? Okay, so this is a uh, image of a uh, permanganate so you can see yep uh, the color is a purple okay this one is a dilute uh, potassium permanganate eh? so uh, you can see that the color actually is a uh, it's a little bit pinky uh, it's pink in color but actually it's purple color eh? okay it's purple okay so for the observations you write uh, the purple colors of the solutions become colorless okay next one potassium dichromate eh? potassium dichromate so we have two chromium here so we need to have two chromium two and uh, seven oxygen so we have seven water and then we have 14 hydrogens so 14 hydrogens so now the element balance already yeah? so now i want you to tell me how many electrons that i need to add to uh to the left hand side here how many electrons i need to add to make it balance uh, the charge here is negative 2 this one uh, positive 14 eh? this one positive 6 this one 0 this one the sum is uh, positive 12 this one positive 6 how many electrons that I need to add here 6 electrons eh? 6 electrons so balance already what's the colors of dichromate can any of you tell me what's the colors of dichromate orange yes orange yeah? chromium 3 ion chromium 3 ion was the color green 
Yes, no safarina, you are correct. Green in color. Okay, actually we have learned this in carbon compound as well, right? Oxidations of alcohol. We oxidize alcohol to become a carboxylic acid, right? Uh, we use uh, potassium dichromate. Okay, so for the observations, uh, the orange colors of the solution turn green. Uh, this is potassium dichromate. Okay, it's orange color. Uh, but I don't have the one which is a green in color. So that's observations. Uh. Balance uh, this six equations. Hydrogen peroxide, concentrated nitric acid, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, sodium sulfide aqueous, and a tin 2 chloride aqueous. To balance this six, six half equations. Uh. So after that, I will give you the answer. Okay, so now this is answer. Check your answer here. 